1929, Gar Wood built the 8th Miss America Harmsworth Trophy Defender. The boat was one in a collection of ten which would wear the name Miss America. Though it would be the Miss America 8 which would go on to create the longest legacy. By 1931, it would be a two-time winner of the International Trophy. In both races, she ran the standard engine of the day, Packard V12s. But Wood wasn't finished yet, and neither was the Miss America 8. He had more in mind than the Harmsworth. He wanted the world speed record on water back in the United States. The Harmsworth Trophy competition was one of the largest attended public events the world had ever seen with estimates ranging from 400,000 to as many as a million people parked on the banks of the river to watch the races. It could easily be said that the Harmsworth Trophy competition was the Super Bowl of its time. Later that same year, Wood met with the famous engineer Harry Miller to discuss the engine Wood had hopes to outrace the world with. So after Garwood's win with Miss America 8 in the 1929 Harmsworth, it was clear to him that he, he needed some more horsepower. And uh, the Packers were certainly durable, and they'd done a great job for him to that point, but he, he was looking for solutions. And he was looking for those solutions very quietly, because he didn't want the Packard folks to find out that he was uh, searching for alternatives. So in one of his many trips to Indianapolis, he met with Harry Miller, the famous race engine builder, who uh, was struggling by then. I mean, he was uh, getting down to his last dimes in the late 20s, early 30s. And, and so he was excited to be able to have such a tremendous uh, project to work with Gar Wood, the famous Gar Wood, and create the most amazing engines that he ever could, get, could have imagined. What came of those discussions was the stuff of legend. Two 1113 cubic inch supercharged V16 overhead cam race engines, producing over 1800 horsepower. In fact, the only two ever produced in history. Even more amazing was the deafening roar of these engines. The traditional Packards turned nearly 2,500 RPM, while the Millers, in contrast, seen here in these rare at-speed photos, turned in excess of an ear-splitting 6,000 RPM. So as Harry was finishing the engines, and it was a pretty trying relationship, uh, he actually quoted um, the understanding is $20,000 to build these two engines back in 1930. And as he had quoted that, uh, he had overruns and had to go to Garwood for a little extra money to finish. But as they got closer, uh, the 1931 Harmsworth was bearing down on them on a date. And they did get the engines in the boat. We're told, the rumor is, the engines were in the boat prior to the 31 Harmsworth, but they had a mechanical failure. So they had to pull the Millers out of the boat, put the Packards back in the boat, run the 1931 Harmsworth, and of course they won that race. A bit controversial, but they did win the race. Narrowly missing the world speed record, and Wood not wanting the Packard people to realize his swap, the engines were removed from the boat and subsequently sold to a private party. It was possibly the greatest final effort at engine design from Harry Miller, until he filed for bankruptcy in 1933. Buying the remnants of Miller's company, Fred Offenhauser went on to use the design to create the famous four-cylinder that won Indianapolis and countless other races for decades. Now, after nearly 80 years of separation, the original Miller engines have been reunited with Gar's favorite Miss America Hall. It's critical and important to us that you, that you absolutely understand what this boat means in the hobby. And it is, it, to say that it's rare isn't even fair. There's an adjective that has to be more significant than that. And you think about the incredible amount of million dollar plus boats that are brand new today that are going to be sold in the market just in the next year. And those boats will be worth 500 grand plus or minus within that next year. They depreciate instantly. It's an amazing asset, and it will only go up in value, irrespective of what it sells for at our auction. We just want to make sure that you are comfortable enough to come to us 
to make sure that you understand any and everything that you would like to know about the boat so you never have the regret that virtually every one of us in the hobby has had. I should have bought that when I had the chance. Three of the original ten Miss Americas are in existence today. Only the eighth has ever been fitted with the Miller V16s, and only the eighth is being sold at auction with the exact 1930 one-off engines. It could be said that of the three remaining Miss America hulls, the eighth is the only boat left with engines that actually competed for the world speed record. The original Packards, which powered the 9 and 10, are gone forever. Conceived, designed, built, owned, and raced by one of, if not the most notable figure in boating history, Garfield Wood. If one were to own a classic boat described as a true American treasure, one would own the Miss America the Eighth.